Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a stool cover. So let's get started. To make this stool, I used burnout blanket, and it's a very thick, plush yarn. But today I'm going to use two strands of Red Heart Super Saver and a 9mm crochet hook. Start with chain 6. Four, five, six. Slip stitch to join in the first stitch to form a ring. Carry the yarn end along the outside of the ring so you can close the hole when you're finished. Chain two, one, two. Make 16 double crochet in the ring. Double crochet. So make 16 double crochet in the ring. Okay, I made 16 double crochet in the ring. The end of the row, slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet. And now you can pull that yarn end and close up the center. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. And this chain one takes the place of this first stitch, so single crochet in two stitches, one, two, make two single crochet in the third stitch, so one, two. So you're going to repeat that across the row. Single crochet, two single crochet, one, two. So repeat that across the row. Single crochet, single crochet, two single crochet, Repeat around. Okay, I worked all the way around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join. And so now I'm going to change color. So all you do to change color is pull the yarn through that last stitch worked, turn the work, and you're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. Make two single crochet in the next stitch. One, Two. So you're going to work across the row doing single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, two single crochet. Okay, I worked all the way around the end of the row, slip stitch to join. And if you're going to keep carrying your yarn, always make sure that you have all the yarns on the same side. So now I'm going to switch back to my blue, pull the yarn through, turn my work, and single crochet in four stitches, one, two, three, four, make two single crochet in the next stitch, one, two. You're going to repeat that all the way around, single, 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 two single. Okay, I completed that row and I slip stitch to join. And so now you can change colors whenever you like, just always make sure you bring all the th yarns to the back side like that. So you're just going to make row after row, repeating the same row, single crochet in four stitches, make two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, I just kept working row after row, making two single crochet in every fifth stitch. When your circle is large enough to fit over the top of the stool, you'll stop increasing and just make rows of double crochet until you have as much as you need for the depth of your stool. So when your circle is the correct size, you're going to chain two, and you're going to double crochet in each stitch around without doing any more increases. So just double crochet in each stitch all the way around, like that. The end of the row, slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. And you'll just do that for as many rows as you need for the depth of your stool. Now when you're finished, you're going to just fasten off and weave your yarn ends into the finished work. And here, you can either pass an elastic, which is what I have done. I just passed an elastic through that last row. Or you could chain a cord and pass that through the last row. But I just find it easier to just be able to slip these on and off for laundering if I have the elastic through. And that's it. That's how easy it is to crochet a stool cover. And this is the same cover. And as you can see, it adapts itself very well to placing it over a square shape. 
and you can get your free pattern for this stool cover in my Ravelry store and the link is below this video. And when I was finished this one I felt I needed a little bit more color so I just passed two strands of yarn through a row of stitches. And that's it. That's how easy it is to crochet a stool cover that you can use on both round stools and square stools. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.